Hey, what's up everyone? This is DJ Stu G here with DJ Tech Tools and today we are in Los Angeles, California checking out the two latest editions of the sub pack. We have the S2 seated version and the M2 mobile version. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with what a sub pack is, the company refers to these as tactile base units that use bone conduction technology to transfer the low end frequencies into your body. Similar to if you had access to a, a highly tuned studio with a really solid subwoofer system in there. But the way that these work is they rest against your back and they vibrate in between 5 and 130 hertz. Each one has a breakout box with a line in and a line out and also a bass intensity knob so you can really dial in exactly how much bass you want to feel into your body. Now, I've had an S2 demo unit now for about three weeks, and at first I was a bit skeptical, but I have to admit I'm pretty impressed. It's really easy to set up. You just use the included elastic strap here to fasten it to the back of your chair, and then you plug your line in, your headphones out, and you're good to go. Uh, the way to calibrate these is you set your bass intensity knob at zero. Listen to whatever your reference track is and the genre you're working with and turn up the bass intensity until it feels right hitting your body. Then just set it and forget it. Spend some time listening to all your tracks and feeling how the bass is actually going into your body. It's a whole new sensation compared to just hearing the bass because you're, in essence your body is the subwoofer so it's, it's a new sensation. Um, I've also used this on the road. You just undo your clips right here and this is an end portable throws right in the suitcase. I've used it on planes, I've used it on couches and hotels. Now the M2 is identical to the F2 as far as the performance and the accuracy. However, this is the mobile version that's meant to be worn like a backpack. You put one over each shoulder, clip on the chest strap, get a nice secure fit, put in your line in, your line out, and you're good to go. I haven't really had as much time with this unit as I did with the S2, but I was able to bring it to a gig and use it in a live situation. It was really interesting. Uh, the club didn't have the best low-end subwoofer setup in there, so there was a lot of delays with the acoustic energy bouncing off the back of the club and the walls, but I just did a direct split off of my headphone out and went right into this and I was able to get the bass right into my body with no delay and just a pure representation of the bass that was actually coming right out of the mixer. Now, no product is perfect and I did have one complaint on both units. Um, I tried pairing them with Bluetooth on my phone and I found that there was quite a bit more noise that came through when I was running on Bluetooth. Uh, there wasn't any delay, it was just a lot more floor noise in the audio playback, but for the majority of us who are using these in professional environments like studios and performing live, you want to just do an eighth inch in to avoid any sort of floor noise with the Bluetooth on there. But either than that, the products are solid, they're incredibly well built, they're lightweight and durable. Uh, you can take them on the road, you can throw this in an airplane seat, uh, you can just throw this on your back at a live gig. Highly recommend it, check it out. It's a new secret weapon for inside your studio. Thank <laughs> you.